Lesson 1b, Reading and Writing Numbers. When we write numbers, we put commas between every three digits. And each three-digit group is called a period and is named for the place value to the left of the comma. And every number is read from left to right. So here I've got this table, and you can see that I've got it split into its periods. This is the ones period, the thousands period, and the millions period. The ones period contains the ones, tens, and hundreds. The thousands period contains the one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. The millions period contains the one millions, ten millions, hundred millions. And we could go on to billions and the next place values. If you notice, they each have a ones, tens, hundreds, don't they? Each period is broken into ones, tens, and hundreds. And this number is written is written and read as 148 million five hundred sixty two thousand. 937. We read each group before the comma and say the name of its period. In word form, a number is written exactly as we would read it out loud. We do not say and or ones when reading or writing whole numbers. Whole numbers are counting numbers, the numbers we use to count things. So no fractions or decimals are allowed. Okay? So remember, you don't say and. When we have the number 20, we just write a 2, 0, or the word 20. But as soon as we pass that and we get to this point, we start using a hyphen for two-digit numbers. This is a two-digit number, 1, 2, two digits. We write 20 hyphen 1, 20 hyphen 2. So from this point on, we're going to start using hyphens for our two-digit numbers. This number is 1,000, comma, 530 hyphen 6. We write a hyphen in between this 30 and this 6 here. This is the thousands period, this is the ones period, and we put the comma after the thousands. See? This is 432 with a hyphen between the 30 and the 2. This is 3015. There's no hundreds, so we just go straight to the 15. See that? And I'm not saying and. This one is 2,612,008. There's no hundreds or tens, so we go straight to the 8. See that? And there's a comma after the 2 million. There's a comma after the 12,000. See? This one would be 703,210. There's a comma after the 3,000. See that? There's no 1, so we just say 10. So that's word form. And to recap what we learned in the previous video, we talked about standard form. That's just the way we write the number, 432. In expanded form, we multiply the digit in that place value times that place value. So this would be the hundreds place. We would do 4 times 100 plus 3 times 10, because that's the tens place, plus 2 times 1, because that's the ones place. In word form, it's just 432, with a hyphen between the 30 and the 2. See? And we can write four-digit numbers with or without a comma. 5,089 can be written with or without a comma, and it would be correct. See? So just remember, in our place values, this is the ones period with hundreds, tens, and ones. This is the thousands period with hundreds, tens, and ones. This is the millions period, and that's got hundreds, tens, and ones. And so does the billions period. And the trillions period, and quadrillion, and quintillion, it keeps going on. They each have a hundreds, tens, and one in each of their periods. See? Our next video is going to be rounding whole numbers, lesson 1c. And if you need more help, you can click on the description. There's going to be a link to Grade 4 Math 1.2 and Grade 5 Math 1.2 that might be able to help you out if you need more help, okay? So, we're going to continue on and talk about rounding numbers. I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to hit the like button if my video helped you, and comment below if you need any extra help. And don't forget, I'm on Facebook, and you can privately message me there for help. And I'm on Minds and Patreon and all kinds of links that you'll see in this video's description. Okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.